Okay guys, well in the last video I was explaining how we can save our custom channel strip presets to the factory location of the library, whether they're instrument channel strip presets or audio channel strip presets, we can save them into the factory location in the exact category we want. We can save uh, vocal channel strip presets into the vocal category, voice category, or drum ones into the drum category in whatever subcategory we want, or acoustic guitar ones into the acoustic guitar category, etc. Right in the actual factory folders, and it's the same for instruments. Right. Um, we can create an instrument channel strip preset with an actual instrument on it and effects and save that into the library in the factory location in the exact category we want. Basses in the bass category, synthesizer leads in the synth lead category alongside the factory ones, right? Okay, that's saving complete channel strip presets, whether audio ones or instrument ones. And I told you that or I drew your attention to the little blue arrow that comes pointing away from the library at the different slots on the channel. Now, the blue arrow needs to be pointing at the top channel setting slot to save a complete channel strip preset. That's the channel with all of its things on it. Instrument and effects for an instrument channel strip preset or all the effects for an audio channel strip preset, right? And we know that this arrow can be shifted to point at different things on the channel. If it points at the channel setting slot at the top, then when we hit save, we're, we're saving the entire channel. If we make it point at the instrument slot on an instrument channel, then if we hit save, we're saving the patch for the actual instrument and while the blue arrow is pointing at the instrument in the instrument slot the library shows us the patches for that instrument in the slot. These are patches for the actual ESM synth. If the arrow points at the noise gate we see the patches for the noise gate. The factory ones, these are all factory ones, right? If we have the arrow pointing at the compressor we see the factory presets for the compressor subcategorized into different folders. If we have the blue arrow pointing at the EQ, we see factory EQ presets, all again subcategorized into different folders by type. Okay. Now one thing to note, let's make the arrow point at the synth and let's actually open the synth. Here's the ESM, it's a very basic synth with very few um, factory patches. But with the blue arrow on the channel pointing at the instrument slot which has the ESM in it, the library shows us actual patches for that synth and they are identical to the patches on the drop down slot here at the top of the plugin. Right. And let me open the noise gate, let's make it point at the noise gate and open the noise gate. Same for the noise gate, this is a, an effect plugin. The blue arrow is pointing at the noise gate, so the library shows us the presets for the noise gate and they are identical again to the ones in the drop down list at the top of the actual plugin. Factory presets for the noise gate, factory presets for the noise gate. Point the arrow at the ESM, factory presets for the ESM, factory presets for the ESM. Okay. Now, if you want to save a patch, not for the whole channel, right? If you want to save the whole channel as a custom patch, you make the arrow point at the channel slot, save, and we've talked about saving that in the factory location, right? Alongside the factory ones. But with an instrument, you make the arrow point to the instrument. And then if you hit save, you're saving the patch for the instrument. Now you can also do it on the instrument itself. I can tweak this synth, any instrument I can tweak it, if it's a sampler, load particular samples, etc. Tweak the instrument to get the sound I want and then I can save that patch by dropping the list down here and doing save as. And when I do that it will save my patch 
as a user preset and it will appear above the factory list between the factory list and where it says delete there in a new slot which is just for user presets that have been saved. And if I make the blue arrow point at the ESM, do the same tweaks, and then with the blue arrow pointing at the ESM slot, click Save there, and just save in the default location, it will again save my ESM patch, not in the factory, but it will save it outside of these factory ones, and these factory ones will be put into a new folder called Factory to separate them from my preset in the library, which is a user patch. All right. It's the same with an effect plugin. I make the blue arrow point to the noise gate. These are the noise gate factory presets. If I tweak the gate to get a certain setting, I can drop this list down and save as and save it from here to the user patch location. It will save my user noise gate patch, which will appear in its own little category above the factory ones. Or I can tweak the noise gate, make the arrow point to the noise gate, click save here, and save to the default location and again it'll put it outside the factory noise gate settings as a user patch for the noise gate. All right. So let's do that with the ESM. Arrow points to the ESM. All right. Now I can open the ESM, do my tweaks here, drop this list down and do save as and save it in the default location Logic wants me to save it in. Right which is whatever it is, and I'll call it ESM X1. Save it. Bam. And it appears now in the list, look, there, the fa factory stuff is all in its own, its, own, its own folder, factory. These are the factory patches, and there's my preset above in a separate list. It's not in with the factory ones. And the same in the library. The arrow's pointed to the ESM. There's the factory ESM presets. There's my ESM X1 outside the factory stuff because it's a user patch. Okay. Uh, let's do that with the compressor. Open the compressor. I can tweak this compressor how I want, tweak, tweak, tweak. When I've done that, drop the list down here and do save as. Now for the compressor, all the presets, both in the library, because the arrow's pointing at the compressor, both in the library, and when we drop down here, they're already all in subfolder categories. Right? Um, so I've tweaked my compressor and I can do save as. Again, save it in the user location. I'll call it my compressor one, save. And it appears outside of the factory folders in its own little category there. That's a user patch, these are factory ones. And in the library, because the blue arrow is pointing at the compressor, there it is in the library. Outside of the subcategory factory folders, all on its own there, okay? So that's saving from here for a patch for an effect plugin or for a patch for an instrument. But we can do it the same as saving a transcript preset using the same save button down here. And it, it saves it in exactly the same place. So at the ESM, I open it, I tweak it to get different settings, whatever they are, blah, blah, blah. The arrow is pointing at the ESM, and rather than saving my patch here, save as, I have the arrow pointing at the SM, save, takes me to the same user patch location, I'm going to call it ESM X2, save it, there it is in my user patches outside of the factory ESM presets and if I open the ESM, there it is in the list, ESM X2, again outside the factory ones. Let's do it with the compressor, I already created one preset called my compressor one which I did by tweaking the compressor and doing save as from here and it puts it outside of the factory stuff all on its own in the list here and in the library it's all on its own outside the factory folders here right so I'll tweak the compressor again and then tweak 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 whatever setting it is different compressor or whatever da 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 right and I'm going to save from the library this time in rather than doing tweaking the compressor and doing save as here and it'll appear next to this my compressor one outside of the factory I've tweaked my compressor, the blue arrow points to the compressor, save at the bottom of the library, and in the default user location I'll call this one my compressor 2. 2. 
save and it does exactly the same thing okay there's my compressor 2 in the user patches here on the plugin outside of the factory ones and there it is in the library the arrows pointing at the compressor there's the factory stuff in the subfolders there's my two presets compressor 1 and compressor 2 outside the factory okay so you know with instrument plugins and effects plugins you can open and tweak and save your patch for just that plugin in the plugin list uh, menu here or make the tweak to the to the instrument or effect plugin make the arrow point to it and save it using the save to button here in either case it puts it in the fact in in the library and it puts it in the list for the for the plugin drop down exactly the same but in the user location outside of any categorized subfolders like the compressor has a lot of subfolders drums guitars vocal compression etc and if we have a more complex synthesizer like say the es2 let's put that on the slot all right the blue arrow is pointing to the s2 well look how many different categories you've got leads pads basses strings keyboards brass once you get into more complex synths with more categories of sounds, you might want to save your patches into the factory location so your leads are in leads alongside the factory leads for the ES2. Your strings are in the strings category alongside the factory ones, etc. Okay, And the same for something like a compressor which has a lot of preset categories. You might want to make a compression preset specifically for a kick drum and save it into the drum category. Okay, So again, where's the factory location? Right, well it's different it's not in that patch location okay it's not in um, applications logic show package contents it's not anywhere in here right where it is is uh, on your main hard drive library application support logic plugin settings there okay and there in plugin settings is all the folders for each plugin and inside those there's the effects for the limiter uh, the the presets the patches for the limiter um, you, there's the presets for the bit crusher where's the compressor compressor uh, compressor there's the presets for the compressor in subcategories, drums, keyboards, guitars, voice, compressor by tools, compressor by type, etc. And inside those folders are the presets, right? So all of our plugins, whether they're instrument or effect, live in this plugin settings folder. But to write to this factory location, we have to change the permissions on the plugin setting folder. We right click, get info, right? Then you've got to choose the everyone slot here well unlock first which will bring up the dialog to put in your password all right type in your password and okay it all right then select the everyone slot change it from read only which it should be on read only it'll be on read only change it to read and write and then reselect it again and drop this list down and apply to enclosed items this thing drops up saying are you sure you want to do it yeah okay done that means that all the subfolders inside the plugin setting folder are all going to be able to be written to now these factory locations for the all the plugin patches whether instrument or effects we're done we relock now we get that plugin settings folder and we drag a shortcut of it onto our right uh, left hand bar exactly like we did for the patches there it is i've done it already don't retitle it i know it goes off the edge but don't retitle it You've got to leave its title alone okay but we got our shortcut now okay so des2 here okay it's complex it's got lots of patches in different categories and they of course match because the blue arrows pointing at the ES2 in the slot so these are all the ES2 synth patches each in their own category strings leads etc and those categories exactly match of course the drop down here leads pads bass strings etc this this library is identical to this library 
right, so we want to save into the library. So I tweak my S2 now, and in and in, whatever I do to it. Now, da 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 da. Right, okay. And then with the arrow pointing at the S2, well, I mean, if I wanted to, I could save here, save as, right? But with the arrow pointing at the S2, I can do save. Go to my shortcut, plug in settings. Make sure these are stacked alphabetically descending. Go down and find the ES2. There it is. Go into it. Now, am I saving a lead? Am I saving a base? Well, let's make it a lead. So go into synth leads, and I'm going to call it ES2. Or I'm going to call it my ES2. My ES2 lead one. Save. Bam. And there it is in the library in synth leads my es1 uh, to lead one and if we open the synth drop the list down there it is in synth leads my es2 lead one both in the library here and the library here in the factory location categorized as a lead if we saved it in the user location it would be above the factory here not in the right category okay let's do that with the compressor there's the compressor. Lots of different compression types by category. If we save to the usual default location, our custom patches for the compressor appear outside the categories, but we might, might want to save into the factory location. So our drum compressor presets are in drums. Our guitar compressor presets are in compress uh, uh, guitars. So again, I open the compressor. I choose the compressor type I want. I tweak it to get the compression while listening and etc etc bam I've got it all set and again I could do save from here save as right if I do save I'll overwrite whatever the current factory is but we tweak the compressor the blue arrow is pointing at the compressor so we're going to save a compressor save go to my plugins drill down the list to the c c c c where is it com Compressor, there it is. Double click, go into that. Now, what kind of preset have I made for this compressor? Is it a drum one, a guitar one, or whatever? Well, let's say it's drums. Bam, drums. And I'm going to, oh, drums, sorry. And I'm going to call it Monster Kick. Let's say I was working with the kick going through the compressor and I made a huge kick compression. I'm going to call it Monster Kick 1. I'm saving it into the, the factory drums category. Bam, there it is in the library. Compressor, these are the compressor presets, drums, monster kick one. And of course it appears in the same library here. Drums, monster kick one, in the right category, right? So that's how you do that. And that's the key to these blue arrows, you see. Whatever they're pointing at, when you click save, you're saving a patch for that instrument or for that effect. But if it's pointing at the top slot, you're saving the entire channel strip. Okay. I hope that's useful.